Hello everybody, this is me, MC Gamer, and you're now tuned into The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Folks, it is time at last. We are going to approach Ganon's castle, and let the final battle begin. Link, can you hear me? It's Raru, the Shage. We six shall gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. So the six sages create the rainbow bridge, and we are now going to enter Ganon's Tower. So this is the final area of the game, folks, and I hope you're ready. We have Bemos guarding the very entrance. Let's take care of these guys, even though we don't have to. Take care of him. That other Bemos got a few hits on me. Lucky guy. It's a good opportunity for us to refuel on a few bombs, which is why I recommend taking out the Beemos, first and foremost. So right here, as you can see, there are six different barriers that are protecting this area, Ganon's final tower. Now, we have to go and beat these individual areas. And first up is Forest. Alright, so what do we do inside this room? Well, let's first of all defeat the Wolfo. Take care of this guy, no problem. We've we defeated Wolfo in the past, this one's no different. Just a simple little Wolfo who sucks. And of course, we have every heart in the game, every upgrade, for exception of the Deku Nuts. That gives us five rupees that we don't really need. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to do two things. We're going to use our good old friend... Di uh, that is not what I meant to do at all. We're going to use our good old friend Din's Fire. To light these torches. And then we're going to go back here. To light the final torch. Like that. You alternatively could have used a fire arrow. But I prefer doing it that way. I find it to be much cooler. Alright, inside this room we're going to need our good old friends, the Hover Boots. As well as we're going to need... Um, I have no idea. Good jump, Link. You gotta watch out for these giant fans. I'm not a fan of giant fans. Get rid of the Beemos. Get him out of the way. Alright. You know what we're going to do? We're actually going to use our long shot here, I believe. We're going to quickly get back to the top of this room. Wow, I can't aim. We might have to wait another cycle. Okay, so when these fans start going, that's when we're going to run out and retrieve that. Because we're going to hover on it. Alright, I didn't manage to get that one. Is there a way to get it from up above? There does not seem to be. However, there's also a switch there which needs pushing. Now, we're going to wait for this fan to turn off. Before getting that. Oh my gosh! The hover boots, they're too strong. Wait for that to turn off. What did that do? Ah! Or, okay. 
Sorry if I'm a little not talky. I'm a little scared right now. So, there we go. We've opened that up, and we can move on. There we go. Here is the final barrier inside physical form. We can destroy it using our light arrows. How do I know it's light arrows? Because I played this game before. So we're just going to quickly re-equip our Kiri boots. And let's equip our light arrows. Take down the forest barrier. The force barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, Link. Will do, Saria. Thank you for your help. You crazy, crazy chick. Alright. Next up is the water barrier. Which is down here. So let's enter the water area. Alright, we got some blue fire here for us. I will take a good old bottle or two of that. Watch the ceiling as well. Take two bottles, just in case we need an extra. Ah! Get rid of that Freezard. Hope there's a Freezard over here coming for us. That actually opens up the door, so the killing the Freezards was required. We can ignore the other chests. They're not important. And that will melt the red ice, and we can continue on. Alright, so now we have a slide puzzle. Now we need to do two things here. And what's very cool is it is possible to reach that ledge if you get a good enough jump. Maybe I need to use hover boots. You know, let's try hover boots. I guess I saved. Okay, apparently not. Let's try to stop cheating and let's try to actually figure out the puzzle. Um, okay. You know, let's push this block in, since I think that was the wrong push. Um. I think that one was incorrect as well. I think both of these are incorrect. I think that this entire room has been a dud. Push it the other way, Link. Get on the other side. Get it in. No! Get down! Oh, wow! I can do that, you know. I think I found the solution. But do I have enough time to actually complete the, 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 the puzzle? We just might have enough time. No, get on top of it, Link. And if it looks like that's a rusted button, so we're going to have to use our Megaton Hammer. Let's get that at the ready. Good old Megaton Hammer. This is a shout out to all the people who said that they would be completely useless in the future. All right, button is taken care of, and the timer continues to tick. But luckily, we're going to make it there with plenty of time to spare. And ha ha, the water barrier. We'll take care of that after refueling a little bit here. There we go. All right, water barrier, you are destroyed. The water barrier is dispelled. Hurry up. Okay, Rudo. 
You keep being weird. I don't know then. All right, so next up is the shadow barrier. So let's go take care of whatever is inside here. Hopefully it isn't too frightening. What I believe we're going to need is we're going to need normal arrows, the lens of truth in particular, and that's what I can remember offhand. Let's head in and see what's up. Okay, not a whole bunch. Looks like I need to light that. So let's actually pull out our fur arrows. Our furs! And let's give it a shot. Don't tase me, bro! Okay, don't let the like like eat you. Alright. Like like is down. Now, how do I get across here? Oh, do I use my hover boots, I bet? Let's go with hover boots. My people need me. Just barely got it. Alright, so we have a path there. And a path that leads to the switch. There's also a switch down there that doesn't seem to have a path to it. This one looks to be a Megaton Hammer one. Oop, well that was close. So let's just Megaton Hammer this thing down. Alright, well that opens the way. I guess I don't really need that switch, do I? Get paid. There's also a thing there. That's interesting. Doesn't matter. We're at the end here. Unless it does matter. It does matter. Go back. Okay. Good thing I remembered. This is this is rather important actually. Wow, nice job, Link. So, we need to light the torch with one of these babies. Can't really see where it is. Nailed it. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to use our hook shot. Instead of trying to climb on out here, we'll just hook shot out. Now, why was this important? Let's find out. The golden gauntlets. Even more powerful than the silver gauntlets is the golden gauntlets. So, we are very happy that we remembered to go and check that out. I'm sure all of you were screaming at your screen saying, MC, don't forget the Golden Gauntlets. Don't worry, I did not forget the Golden Gauntlets. Okay. Give a good hop. Good work, Link. Alright. Do we get paid again? No, we do not get paid again. So let's get rid of the shadow barrier, friends. The shadow barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. Thank you, Impa. Did you know your voice sounds a little Russian, but I'm not really sure what accent it is? She's gone now. I've always wanted to say that to her, but she never gave me the opportunity. Anyways... Now that we have the Golden Gauntlets, there's something very special we can do. 
and I want to go do it right now. Uh, so screw the rules. Let's go. Let's go do this here. Now the golden gauntlets can, are used to lift like a, a couple rocks in this game. Like I mean, the, this is. It's really strange that they put these games in so late, but uh, it, it's 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 pretty interesting that they put them in so late, and I don't even think they're required. I'm trying. Yes, they are required. I am lying to you. They are required, now, and for a reason I'll show you in a few moments. But uh, we can leave Ganon's castle, say screw it, and now he's gonna be like, "Hey, you're forgetting something." And it's like, "No, I'm not. I I have a better plan." And it's our last upgrade of the game, basically, that, that we haven't gotten yet. It's this big old rock. But take it, man. Screw the rules. <laughs> Those gauntlets, man. They're not just gauntlets. They're steroids. Steroid gloves. Anyways, the last great fairies fountain. Let's play our music. Hello? <laughs> Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Courage. I am going to enhance your defensive power. Receive it now. <laughs> and she pours some of her courage into us. And gives us probably one of the coolest upgrades in the game. Do you see our hearts there? They have little white borders around them. Well, that means we have double defense now. Your defensive power has been enhanced. Damage inflicted by enemies will be reduced by half. Basically, we just took our 20 hearts and doubled them to 40 hearts. One fell swoop, thanks to the Great Fairy. That's why this upgrade is so awesome. That's basically what it did. 40 hearts, basically, we have now. So now we're ready to continue on in Ganon's castle. But I think we're going to have to do that, friends, next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Thanks for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you next time as we go on to the next trial.